सो हाय गाइस दिस इज श्रुता खुराना अ थर्ड प्रोफेशनल एमबीबीएस स्टूडेंट एट वर्धमान महावीर मेडिकल कॉलेज एंड सफदरजंग हॉस्पिटल न्यू दिल्ली सो फ्रॉम दिस वीक ऑनवर्ड्स माय सर्जरी पोस्टिंग्स बिगन एंड आई थॉट व्हाई नॉट शेयर अ व्लॉग विद यू और मे बी अ वीडियो सो दैट यू नो हाउ इट एक्चुअली फील्स लाइक हैविंग सर्जरी पोस्टिंग्स इन अ हॉस्पिटल एंड यू नो हैव दैट फील ऑफ बीइंग अ डॉक्टर सो आर सर्जरी पोस्टिंग्स आर डिवाइडेड एज लाइक सम डेज वी गो एंड विजिट द ऑपरेशन थिएटर अ फ्यू डेज वी गो एंड विजिट द ओपीडी फॉर अ फॉलो अप और फॉर न्यू केसेस एंड द अदर डेज वी गो टू द वार्ड्स वेयर वी टेक a proper history and learn how to interact and take a proper history about the case and know more about it so uh, it was my first time going into the operation theater and i was really very excited about it uh, so what but what more important is that before going into the ot you have to take care of all the necessary precautions like you have to have the scrubs and then the head cover shoe cover gloves everything all of that so we all got proper super ready to go inside the ot and that was a first experience so definitely we were very excited and uh, we went into the operation theater we observed quite a good number of things there a lot of things there and uh, there was a surgery going on and that surgery was about incisional hernia that means the contents of the abdomen are protruded out and the surgery was happening uh, so since we are not surgeons so we didn't perform a surgery but it was uh, very fascinating looking into it how it happens how a surgeon performs what it looks like so it was really amazing uh, so it was a proper doctor experience which you could say and what actually happens in a mbbs college or a medical college and uh, so it really felt good thanks to lockdown we couldn't have a surgery posting uh, in second year a proper surgery posting in second year that was all online so we are finally lucky enough to have our surgery postings offline but it is not very easy to manage and learn in clinical postings until you are very good with theory and third year uh, and surgery as a subject is in the final year not in the third year so it becomes very very important to integrate what you are seeing there what you are looking at there and correlate it with your theory so for that i have been using maro because i think that is the one stop solution where you can integrate any of the subject you can learn any of the subject any of the topic any of the time whatever time you want and like whatever day you want and that is the amazing part maro has very recently launched its own edition 6 wherein all the videos are recorded new and each faculty has updated the lecture videos according to the new updates seen in the exam pattern and syllabus and mainly they've tried to add a lot of practical aspects just like they've shown a lot of ot surgical procedures so that you understand procedures and concepts better and for that i am planning to make a separate video where i can answer all your questions and tell you about the changes that edition 6 has for you so do not forget to comment below all your questions and i'll be answering them so what i try to do is whatever i go whatever i have to see whichever case i see in the opd or in the ward i try to come back and look the videos related to it from maro and try to solve the question bank in fact it also becomes very important to correlate all of the things with an to me which i seem to have forgotten till now so that is how maro helps and i am so in love with it it is so smooth as i always say it is so smooth you will never have maro you will never see maro hanging on your phone or something like that so you can just quickly solve any of the question bank you can challenge your friends or you can give any of the test whatever time you feel like so that's how i've been using maro and correlating it with whatever i am studying whichever clinical postings i'm going into so on the other days we have our opd visits wherein we observe a doctor taking a new case or doing the follow up and we try to correlate and integrate that with whatever we are studying we try to uh, learn how to examine a patient we try to learn how to take a proper history and uh, what exactly is needed what to ask what to not ask what how to ask the patient and i think that is the art because it takes a 
lot of time to take a proper history and how much you try after some point of time you will realize that you are forgetting something or you have missed on something so it becomes very very important to practice history taking again and again in whichever posting you go whether it is gyne or it is medicine or it is surgery it becomes really important to learn the art of history taking and i think that is what we are learning now and other than that we uh, try to examine the patient we learn how to examine the patient so today we learned about what is an ulcer uh, what uh, what how to examine an ulcer what exactly it looks like how what are the causes of an ulcer so that's how it uh, looks like and on some days we go into the wards where we see patients admitted for particular cases and uh, they have been suggested some some kind of surgeries so there again we try to take a history we try to diagnose the case what exactly has happened uh, and uh, learn the art of history taking and uh, learning how to interact with the patient which actually gives you a good experience to visualize what exactly happens and what is written in the books so future surgeons i hope you have enjoyed this video and especially if you are a neat aspirant i am very sure this is going to motivate you a lot and if you like this video do not forget to subscribe to my channel follow me on instagram and keep watching keep loving stay happy stay healthy and keep studying